everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is LJ and in today's video I'm going to be going through my February favourites so stay tuned to see what I was thoroughly enjoying throughout the month. Okay first up is Bioderma. I have two products here from Bioderma. The first one is their shower oils. So these two products are part of the Atoderm range which is for very dry skin. So my skin has been super like dry all of a sudden this past 12 months. My skin, my hands, my feet thereafter getting super super dry and flaky. I think it may be like age or a change of environment or it could be anything like it could literally be anything diet like who knows. I have really converted to going towards more dry skin products that are specifically to hydrate your skin in severe cases. So the Atoderm line is particularly for dry, dry skin. These are phenomenal. I love these two products. So first we have the oil that you use in the shower. This doesn't lather up like your typical sudsy bath bubble kind of stuff. This will lather very, very slightly, but you feel like hydrated and it has one of my most favorite scents in the whole world. It's quite floral. Love it, absolutely love it. As you can see, I've gone through almost half a bottle. It retails for about $25 in stores, so it's not too bad. You do get a full litre product in here, so that is pretty, pretty good. The other one then is the moisturiser, so you use this all over your body. After coming out of the shower, I'll pop this on all over, rub it in really, really well, and at the end of the day, my skin still feels super, super moisturised. I can almost still feel the product like making my skin feel super soft and I was very very impressed with how this actually soaks into the skin and actually makes it feel hydrated but there's still product on it without feeling like greasy or heavy but at the end of the day I was super impressed to find out that this was still hydrating my skin and making me feel all nice and soft. The moisturizer also retails for about $25 as far as I'm aware. Also this is a great opportunity to mention the fact that any of the Atoderm products that are being purchased up until May. Bioderma Canada are making a donation of one dollar for each product sold to the Children's Wish Foundation. So the next time you need a shower gel or a, a moisturizer or just go into your local store to check out the Bioderma range, definitely keep that in mind. It's running up until May 15th so if you think you need anything up until May 15th it's a great cause to actually go out and help Bioderma raise those funds. Okay so product number three I have rediscovered a product that I initially hated so I got this product as part of a pack when I was buying a regularly purchased product this is from the brand Marcel this is their three-in-one micellar gel eye makeup remover so I initially got this and the instructions are to place the product let me see application moisten cotton pad and remove makeup so I would imagine you would put this product onto a cotton pad and like wipe it all over or on your eyes because it says specifically for eye makeup. So one day I was looking at it and I was like, cause I was using it on my eyes and I just felt like with the cotton pad, it wasn't really working very well. And it felt super light. Like when it goes onto your face, it feels like water. And then one day I just grabbed it and I put like a big ball of it into my hand, rubbed it together and like wiped it all over my face. And I could see the makeup like lifting and everything like that. And it worked just like one of those cleansing oils, which I hate. I never ever liked any of the cleansing oils that I've tried. So I felt like this was more of a lightweight way of doing that method. So. I loved it. It worked really, really well. And I thought like it felt super light on my skin, didn't irritate my contact lenses, which is the one thing I actually hated about using those cleansing oils because they would get into my eyes and it would like mess up my eyes. And I know what you're gonna say. I should take out my contact lenses before I take off my makeup, but I don't. I can't see without them on. So I leave my contact lenses in, it doesn't irritate my eyes, get my makeup off. I'll just wipe my face off then afterwards and it's good to go. It's almost gone. Like I'm so happy I like rediscovered a way and how to use it. I just plonk it on as it is, rub it in, get it off and it's done. So item number four out of six-ish favorites that I have for February 
is this moisturizer. This is the new Ole Whips and I have the total effects. So they have released three new moisturizer in the Whips range. The one I have is a total effects. Each one of the range, each one of the moisturizer in the range has two. So you get one without SPF and with SPF. So if you want to do your SPF inside your moisturizer, I think it's SPF 20, which is not enough for my super pale skin, I feel. I use my SPF separately to my moisturizer, so I will use this moisturizer. It, it feels super, super lightweight, so it doesn't feel heavy on your skin, and it goes on, and it's super whippy, and feather light like it's literally feather light you don't feel it on your skin it soaks right in and it feels like your skin is hydrated throughout the day I'm having no issues with dryness on my skin and I've been loving this product I can't get enough of it it also smells really really nice and fresh my first impression was it smelled like a wearable conditioner <laughs> but it does smell very nice I approve the scent of it and you don't you don't <laughs> you don't smell it on your face after you put it on either, which is really, really good in my books. Okay, so we're moving on to makeup. The first makeup product I have is the Givenchy Tint Couture Balm. So this is a really lightweight foundation. I absolutely love it. I love how it just glides onto the skin and smoothens out the pores. I love how lightweight it feels on my skin, but also lasts really, really well throughout the day. I have a three day, three ways on this foundation already up on my YouTube, so I'm gonna link that up here. I'm going to also link it down here so you can check it out after if you like. Highly recommend this product. It is pricey. I know it's like $60 to get it. It's available in Sephora Canada exclusively online. I do have like a blog post as well with all the swatches on my arms. Hopefully that might be of some help. I'll also link all that down below. I'm curious to know if anyone else has been loving this as much as I have. I think it's amazing for those days that I don't want to wear too much makeup but I also want to feel like I'm not naked or if you want to let your skin shine through if you don't have any blemishes it is a great one I don't feel like it covers blemishes very particularly extremely well but it does camouflage them I would say but it like really really blurs out pores and just makes you look really really beautifully like almost like you've no makeup but on but you're glowing and yeah I've been loving 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 this foundation Next up is an eyeshadow palette. Woo! So this is the ColourPop All I See is Magic eyeshadow palette. I have been loving this palette lately. I've been able to come up with a lot of different looks using this palette. So I currently have it on right now. I thought I would pop it on since I'm talking about it in this video so you can actually see. I've created some other tutorials as well which haven't gone up yet, but I will keep you guys updated if they do go up. But they will go up like they'll be up like next week or something like that you get 15 shades in this palette the palette costs I think it was 20 Canadian dollars 20 was it 20 Canadian or 20 US it's one of those I'll leave the like correct figure down below pretty sure you can get this one on Sephora Canada right now as far as I'm aware it's not a limited edition item but it came out at Christmas time I am obsessed with Colourpop lately I cannot get over the quality of their products for such an affordable price so good I am obsessed I have about four or five different Colourpop palettes at the moment and I'm loving all of them equally. So pigmented, so easy to use, so easy to blend, so beautiful, amazing makeup looks coming from these eyeshadow palettes and amazing. Actually, my lip combo favorite is also ColourPop. I'm just realizing this now. So I have been absolutely loving this lip combination that I'm wearing today. It's very nude. I know I haven't been like favoriting colored lipsticks even in my last favorites for January it was like more nudie colors as well but I've been really getting into nudie glossy lips so the lip liner is BFF2 absolutely stunning I'm loving their lip liners they are called lippy pencils this is BFF2 and it is a great cool toned brown that you can really line your lips and make them look bigger I think that anything that has a more cooler brownish like anything that's like a more taupey color is going to help overdraw your lips if you do that or if you don't it's going to make your lips look really nicely defined with a more nude lip gloss or lipstick so go for the cool toned brown and then top it off with like a lighter shade on top this is a collaboration lip gloss with I love Sarah he Sarah he Sarah he and Colourpop and this is curvy 
This is gorgeous. It has teeny, teeny, tiny flecks of sparkle in it, but it is mostly opaque. Really glossy on the lips, nice saturation of color. Goes really, really well with the lip pencil, BFF2. I know there's other pencils in the collaboration range, but I picked these two and I love them. They're really, really nice. They're a great combination. They're great for over drying the lips, which I do, by the way. Okay, guys, that is the end of my video. I hope everyone has an amazing month of March. You know the drill. If you liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.